Tenor, please. Tenor? Oh, as if she needs you know of a job. Yeah, well, I don't think sitting in your knickers all day watching Jezza Kyle's about to get you on, do you? Oh, are you? Ah, who the hell drinks beer mouth, Paul? What are you mourning for? It's knocked off, innit? Yeah, well, I want decent booze considering you're getting into the sickest party of the year at no cost. I live here. You can't charge me. Uh, Dan, I need your advice about Alicia. Oh, yeah. I can't believe Denise is charging ten quid to get into her house. So? Well, it's ten quid, innit? So? I lost my job again. Oh, that's twice in two weeks, bro. What happened this time? Uh, the uh, manager said I was scaring away the customers. Ah. Hey, I wonder if Michaela would be here. What's Michaela to you, lad? Nothing. It's just we've not seen her in ages, have we? Right. OK. Don't worry, sweetheart. Mummy's sorting it. We've been getting on great, and I was kind of hoping that she would move in with me. Here, with Janice Bryant running things. Yeah, I know it's not the best setup, but at least we'll be together, won't we? Oh, Paul, I didn't know you were so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think I should ask her? Yeah, why not? I mean, anything is better than living with her mum. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! You look awful. Go get changed before anyone sees you. I thought a woman likes a man in uniform. Not when it says Mayfeld Supermarket on it. Soon to be a soldier's though, eh? You've done an application? Uh, um, no. Not quite. Paul, you said you'd finish it last night. I know. I got caught up in some chat. I'll post it tomorrow. I promise. Just go get changed, yeah? Yeah. He's really starting to annoy me. Hi, Fulton. Dan, looking good. <laughs> How's things? Your radio show is like the one thing keeping me sane. <laughs> you should tell that to the feds, man. They're always on my back, innit? Trying to shut me down. I tell them I'm providing a community service. Michaela, you look, um. <laughs> <laughs> Bolton Smiley lost for words. I never thought I'd see the day. You look nice. So do you. I've been tuning into your radio show. Pretty impressive. I always knew you'd do good. I know what you're thinking. Tom Cruise in cocktail. Yeah? Watch this. Yeah. Obviously not a Tom Cruise fan. Dan, what have you been up to since you left Wartley Road? Hitting the big time like our Bolton here. Um, I'm in between jabs right now. Oh, when did you get here? Oh! I just arrived, I've got a cab from the airport. Oh, hi. Hi, you okay? Airport? Uh, yeah. I'm an air stewardess. Ah, oh, trolley dolly, like it. <laughs> Don't you mean a waitress in the sky? I'm in charge of everybody's safety, actually. That is gorgeous. Must have cost you a fortune. Uh, I'm starting my own business, hair and beauty. Oh, good for you, Lee. Me and you should catch up. Kayla. <laughs> oh, feel it. How are you doing? Uh, not so good, actually. Typically. Do you mind, Phil? We're chatting here. Yeah. Move. What? Get off the couch, man! Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> You've done good, Mick. Getting yourself a classy job. You seem surprised. Oh, come on, you were the gobbiest girl in the school. Yeah, well, you grow up, don't you? I mean, I can't imagine the teachers of Wartley Road would have thought you'd have been a success. I'm just a pirate radio DJ. Well, here's to us two. Actually, I've um, just been offered a new job in Dubai. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. You're going to take it? Yeah, why not? I mean, the pay's great. I get a free apartment, swimming pool, gym, the lot. 
Sounds like you've made it. Yeah, well, anything to get away from Rochdale, this place is such a dive. Yeah, tell me about it. It's not exactly the place for an up-and-coming rapper, is it? Then what are you still doing there? Can't afford London rates. You know, the club scene in Dubai is massive. The DJs get paid a fortune. Yeah. Yeah, most of them are so famous, big celebrities. Be a great place to kickstart your career. Can you believe it? She disappears for months and then just expects to come back into his arms. He went out for ages at school. They probably got loads to catch up on. There's a ball in there. Bottom's always had a thing for Michaela. Just like me and you, Leash, eh? Um, should we get ourselves another drink? Yeah. Could you just give us a minute? This is great, isn't it? What? Well, the Waterloo Road lot back together again, just like old times. I just feel dead happy, you know? Right. What did you want to talk about? Well, the reason I'm happy is because we're happy, you know? And I was wondering if you wanted to move in with me. Here. You want me to move into Janice's spare room with you? Yeah. <laughs> Where do I sign up? I never thought about moving abroad. Then why not? It's warm all year round, everyone's got money. You'd love that lifestyle. I think it would really suit you. Well, it definitely sounds like my kind of show. I reckon you might have sold it to me, especially if you're going to be there. You mean it? Yeah, I'll definitely think about it. But like I said, there's not much round here, is there? Well, I know it might sound daft, but how it works is if you come over as my husband, then I'd be able to get you a visa so you could live and work there dead easy. What, like, pretend we're married? Well, no, we would actually need a certificate proving we were married, but it would just save you a lot of hassle getting in. <laughs> You're joking, right? No, I just mean it might take you ages if you want to go on your own. You know what all that official stuff's like. Sorry, no way. Look, Bolton, just listen a minute. It's just a piece of paper. Look, I've got it all worked out. Yeah, you've got all this planned, haven't you? It's not me you want, it's just any old mug to go with you. No. Sorry, Mickey, my love, I'm not as stupid as I used to be. No, it's not like that. What is it? If you're not married, you can't go. You can't propose marriage for an easy life for yourself. I did not propose, I just said it might be easier for you if we got married. Whatever, man. Are you right? Yeah. Yeah. Did she actually just ask you to marry her? Yeah. <gasps> How desperate is that? Totally. She might have a fancy job, but Michaela White's still a selfish cow. She always was. Do you think I should go check on Michaela, make sure she's all right? Oh, no, you best let her cool off. Yeah, but... Look, just leave it. Save you, Slap. Janice isn't that bad to live with once you get used to her. At least tell me you'll think about it, eh? And if I move in and you get called up, then what? <laughs> See, I thought so. You've got no intentions of joining the army, have you? Look, I know I'm not the best for advice, but I want you to stop and think about what you're about to do, yeah? Maybe you could show me your studio sometime. All the techno stuff. My studio is in my bedroom. Hang on. I was hoping to break it to you gently. But you wouldn't let me, so now I'm going to have to do it the hard way. Well, to meet Kyle. Your son. You're having a laugh. He's not mine. He's not mine. Yes, he is. And I'm taking him to Dubai. And if you had any sense of responsibility, you'd come with me for his sake. What are you talking about? You need to face up to being a father. You can't just walk in here and tell me I've got a kid. Damn right, you're bang out of order. I don't remember this being any of your business. Why are you trying to trick Bolton into being with you? <sighs> <laughs> you're such a liar. All right, Danielle, just stay out of it, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's right. Jump to her defence. I saw what he said about her online. Right, can we all shut up? There is a baby in here. It's OK, Kyle. I think he wants his dad. Do you not want to hold your son, Bolton? No.
We use protection, man. It's only like 95% effective. Man. Yeah, well, it should say that on the packet, shouldn't it? It does, man. I can't take on a kid. Even if he is mine, I didn't want it. Just for a second, all right? Forget about how you feel. There's a little boy in there who's, who's done nothing wrong and all he wants in the world is a dad to, to tuck him in at night and teach him the offside rule. Forgetting. My mum was a single mum and all and I ain't done too bad ever. So what are you saying? You never wanted a dad? You know you did, mate. And you're lying if you think otherwise. It's not like that. If you want your kid to feel the same way that you did, then fine. How do I hold him? Just like this. What are you saying, little dude? 